On The Range Podcast. On The Range. Yeah, buddy. It's our annual 4th of July episode. Welcome back to another episode of On the Range Podcast. I am Mark Kelly, and as always, I am joined by my co-host and friend from Warhawk Tactical, Rick Hogg. How's it going, buddy? Man, Mark, it's going great to my fellow Americans. Happy mm-hmm. 4th of July, our Independence Day, uh, where we gained our freedom, which is quickly, this day and age, being crushed by this oppressive administration we're in. But uh, really, guys, want to thank you for giving us your most precious commodity. Uh, do me a favor, man. If you guys haven't read this cool book, <laughs> the United States. I mean, I always pop that thing up. There we go. See if we can get it closer oh, yeah. for the viewers. It just doesn't. There we go. Kind of in focus. Yeah. Uh, guys, if you haven't read the Constitution, read it. Uh, fantastic read. It's not a living, breathing document. Our founding forefathers wrote this thing. Uh, men were far ahead of their time. Uh, I mean, these guys were, in my opinion, geniuses. The the words they put on that paper, um, give it a read. It's got some fantastic stuff. And uh, it's amazing if you read that bad boy, how much your rights are being oppressed right now. So when November comes around, make sure you do the right thing and fix it. Uh, on a sidebar note, do a little bit of housekeeping. Guys, hey, don't forget it. Uh, swing by warhog.com, kellydefense.com, sign up for those newsletters. Trust me, we will not inundate you with a bunch of junk. Uh, I think Mark does a little bit better job getting his newsletters out there. I'm a little more, uh, hey, let's kind of get a bigger piece of pie together and launch it out there. But, um, yeah, man, just a, a better way to keep you guys kind of up to date as far as what we're going on. I know as far as the warhog side, uh, unless you're on LinkedIn, you're probably not going to find us out there or on the other social channels because, uh, again, suppression, oppression, whatever <laughs> word, censorship. There, yeah. There's all kinds we can go into, right? Even though these big tech platforms should be um, held liable under constitutional law because the federal government told them to do things, i.e. they're state actors, but we won't open up that Pandora's box on this day of freedom. We shall celebrate. The very freedom that we have, of course, we got old glory and it's grandioso uh, behind us. So there you go. <laughs> um, but no, really, guys, it's it's a day to be proud to be Americans, uh, celebrate the freedoms we have, the things we do, because, yes, we still do live in the greatest country in the world. But I would tell you this. When you look at that flag, I would tell you to pause Enjoy that hamburger, hot dog, cold drink, whatever tasty beverage you're drinking. But when you look at that flag, remember those red lines represent the blood of your fellow Americans that gave you the freedom to enjoy what you're doing on this very Independence Day. So, yep. um, yeah, yeah, that was man. kind of my spiel. I think uh, the one one last bit of housekeeping notes, Mark, before I forget, uh, patrons, <laughs> you guys have been catching some early live access uh, if you're sitting there going, Rick, what are you talking about this patron stuff? So our OTR Patreon crew membership, uh, free to join. However, if you want the all access hundred plus training videos, bi-monthly zoom call with me and Mark, um, you're gonna have to pick one of the tier, you know, the, the top tier rating we have, uh, oh, by the way, if you're law enforcement, don't worry about it. we got a special one for you guys. Cause we love you guys. What you're doing. want to support you, uh, know that you don't get paid the best. So just our way to tip the hat back to you guys for your support. Um, you can either go to warhog.com, kellydefense.com. Again, you'll find the links for the OTR Patreon crew page, or you can swing by patreon.com forward slash on the range podcasts and become a member of the crew. So yeah, be that 1% better every single day, brother. So yeah. That's what it's all about. And as always, this episode is brought to you by the firearms train no- notebook. Right now we have another presale of the spiral bound edition. Again, mm-hmm. just go to kellydefense.com and you can pick that up. Um, it is something that will make you 1% better every day in your firearms journey. It will help you track your progression. If you're not measuring it, you can't track it, Rick. And this is going to help you do it. And it's going to make you more efficient at planning your next dry fire or live fire training session. And it does the proofs in the pudding. It absolutely works. 
And, uh, you know, speaking about the crew, speaking about the crew, they are live right now. They are viewing this as we are recording it. And mm -hmm. it is on the crew members page and they can shoot us messages. They can make fun of us. They can ask us questions. They can do whatever they want. And yeah. it's just another way for uh, us to engage with that crew membership. It's mm -hmm. It really is growing. And if you want to be a part of it and you want to be around and uh, speak with and hear from and talk with like-minded individuals, there's nothing more reaffirming and therapeutic about that when you know you're doing something that everybody else around you seems like they're not doing. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you, you immerse yourself into a group of folks who are doing the exact same thing, trying to be better, getting up early, getting after it before work and all these other crazy things that are crazy nowadays. And you're hanging around the same people that are doing the exact same thing. It's something about it that is, uh, we're really proud of it and we want you to be a member. So go to the websites and check that out. And, you know, we do this every year. We usually talk about the, the hot dog eating contest, but I, I heard some news. I don't know if it's true. I haven't confirmed it, but our guy, world's greatest athlete, Joey Jaws Chestnut is not going to be in the hot dog eating contest this year. What? I, that's what I heard. Yep. I heard that. You know, he's not going to be in Queens. He's not going to be on the boardwalk. He's not going to be engaged in that. And the issue with that is some kind of a contract with one of his other endorsements or something. I don't know. I, that's what I heard. I hope I'm wrong about that, <clears throat> but we're going to, we're going to find out later, you know, this day and we'll see if we can't uh, view Joey Jaws chestnut. And if he does, we always have an episode to rehash that event. Probably one of great greatest events in sports you're going to see all year. I don't care if it's the Olympics. Joey Jaws Chestnut is Dude, a legend. It, think about it, my man. What he he cranked down was, was it seventy one or something? Yeah, yeah. And you, bun, you know, well, and bun, right? But it, but it's a it's a it's not your classic eating hot dogs like we think about, right? Like they take the buns, they put them in there. You know, they do they do craziness, right? Mm -hmm. And I forget one year we looked up how much fat. A Nathan's hot dog hat, <laughs> right? Oh, and, dude. And and I'm just thinking to myself, if it was me, let's just say hypothetically, right? Let's let's and, and I'm using probably super low numbers. Um, it's got to have what twenty grams, thirty grams oh, of fat. Dude. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah not to and, you know, not to mention the caloric number that we're talking. Oh, dude. Uh, let's just say each dog, let's just say each dog. And again, I'm, I wish I'd brought the wrapper, but um, let's say each dog's, you know, 100 calories, just a dog, right? And then you throw the buns in there. The buns got to be close to another 100, right? So my man's cranking in like in one sitting almost 15,000 calories, right? Within 10 minutes, dude. right? And just oh, yeah. that fat. Dude, I'd get three dogs of me, probably four, and I'm sitting there probably on the corner puking my guts out just because my body's going to be like, yo, dummy, what are you doing? So yeah, it, it's a, uh, it's comical, man. Cause you sit there and, and you go, dude, my man's got some, some athletic skills to suck down them dog. And he's not a big old oh, boy. dude. I mean, he's big, but oh, yeah. he's like, not like some of these guys that are just like beer belly esque. So do you remember that protester last year, Russia stage and he threw him away while he's, and he's still sucking oh, yeah. down hot dogs at the yeah. same time. Yeah, dude, I got three three words for for you, America athlete Joey Josh Chestnut. Uh, it's like two hundred. It's like two hundred seventy calories in a hot dog in uh, in bun, and he's doing seventy one something like that. And that girl too. Oh, dude, that she girl, man, down. not even close. What she put down like fifty or something? Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, R ridiculous, ridiculous, yeah, ridiculous. And Badlands, uh, big Badlands, he's always a, a good entertainer. He's the one who wins the uh, – doesn't he do the uh, Pink Lemonade Challenge or something like that and just crushes that? I think he yeah, is. Sucks, yeah. it, sucks it down like a like half a second or something crazy. It's it's amazing. Anyway. And anyway, but how sick is that, though? You're in America, and you have mm -hmm. something as spectacular as that. There you go. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of fun, too, laughing at all those – uh, I love the celebrities and all these other folks who are going to um, leave if a certain individual is elected president. Oh my god! First of all, they, they never do it. First they, of all, they never do it. Not not a one has done it that I know of. Why would they? Where are you going to go? Right? But because here's the problem with these celebs: people pay them too much. Um, 
people give him too much credit, right? They're another human being. And when, especially when you look at the celebs coming out of Hollywood, the majority of these cats flawed, right? Now I'm not being judgmental. Sure. I'm not being judgmental. I'm just going to just talk. So let's talk about one of my favorite individuals just uh, recently come to light. We kind of knew what she was doing behind the scenes. Although Oprah Winfrey, right? Hmm. Everyone loves Oprah. Oh, she's Miss um, Weight Watchers this, although I don't know why it wasn't working for her. But, hey, I'm not going to get into her business, right? No judging here. Uh, just stating facts. Hangs out with some spiritual leader. Not quite sure what that dude does, right? But he peddles kids. Uh, in turn, the link to her, she's being peddled or being shown to peddle her kids, her little African camp peddling kids. Um displays kids in Hawaii being peddled, getting hooked up with Disney, right? It, it's all this peddling, all these pedos. So really, when you think about it, and these people are listening, these celebrities, dude, they're dirty birds, man. Dirty, oh. dirty birds. Now, I'm not saying all of them are, but you know what? I'm going to classify them as a generality. Hollywood, dirty birds, man. If you listen to one iota of what those people are telling you, you're a fool. You should mm -hmm. draw your own conclusions, not draw your basis what these other morons have to tell you. And again, I'm going to keep going back to it. If you have not read the Constitution of the United States, read it. It's a short read, small book, even comes in in the pocket size, right? I mean, not even comparable to the fire training notebook in size, right? Smaller. <laughs> but I'm telling you, Give it a read. It, it, it's yeah. absolutely incredible what you'll find in that document. Um, yeah. I'm just going to say a couple words that our founding forefathers put in there that's still amazing to this day. Shall not be infringed. Mm, amazing. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Um, yeah. They should have put that. You know, I kept... When I originally was kind of... You know, looking at the document, I was like, man, these guys messed up. Two should have been one. One should have been two. Um, should have had shall no. not be infringed ac across the board. And, man, here recently, you know, I've realized with all this big tech power and all this suppression, um, yeah, one is one. It's got every right to be one, you know. Yeah. And two's two's back there supporting one, supporting them all. But um man, I think we should have put shall not be infringed on one as well, because <laughs> brother, we're in a yeah. day and age that it did you see that one lady? Uh, I think she was flying United. She got yes, a, a young baby and said something to the dude that was a they or a she or something misgendered 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 yeah okay yeah. whatever jackal uh and then whatever gets booted, yeah. gets booted off the flight i'm yeah. like dude she'll she'll be owning united airline absolutely you know th this people we have to stand up right so yes everyone's entitled to free speech and i'm all about free speech to an extent, and here's my extent. You can sit there and go do your free Palestine. You can do whatever you want, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you don't know your history, but that's here nor there, you ignorant people. However, as soon as you go, I'm Hamas, you've just admitted you're a terrorist. People could, you know, convey that as a threatening action. People, there's people that. <laughs> Understand what these terrorist organizations do. And you're going to be an ignorant American and say, I'm Hamas and don't think there's going to be some repercussions. Hmm. Yeah. Just think, think about it. Right. It's kind of like the old fire in the, uh, in the movie theater type deal. It's like, come on people, you know, um, pull your heads out your fourth point of contact and, uh, think about what you got going on. So, yeah. Well, you know, another thing too, is any one of those things that they seem to think that they can do on campuses or whatever, that would never fly almost anywhere else other than this great country here. And it just makes me laugh that, well, you know, these elitists and some, so I, I put a post on 
or I commented on a post. It was some professor of something. Mm -hmm. I, it was, it was absolutely ridiculous. Maybe it was gender studies or something like that. And, and they're talking about how terrible this country is. I said, lady, you are a tenured professor at an Ivy league school, probably making a very, very good salary doing absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Where else are you going to do that? Where else? Nowhere. 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 And you're bashing the place that allows you to do nothing and say dumb stuff and teach yep. something that a kindergarten knows or someone who knows before they even get anywhere near a school, yep. the difference between these things. And you're telling me that this is a terrible country. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll take your job. You want to trade? Here's a better one. Hey, you want to go stand, you want to go stand on a street corner and, and, and guard a bunch of people who are trying to rip down a, a statue of a hundred years ago. If no one really knows who it is anymore. No. Or, I can go in, into your nice little library office and talk about gender studies. I'll trade in a heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. Here, here's one for you. If this country is so terrible, right. And, and, and all these people, you know, whether it's your, you know, people going, Oh, you got white privilege. Oh, you oppressive American. Oh, you, whatever. You don't like it. Pack your crap. Go beat it. Yeah. Leave. Right. Yeah. Quit, quit spewing, especially at these universities. Quit spewing your hatred, because that's in essence what it is, towards this country. If you don't like it, leave. Why mm -hmm. are you still here? Right. And yeah. and that's the that's the underlying part that amazes me is you look at these college campuses and, and it's global, right? So I saw one. Um my man, I forget where he was. My man was over in uh in the UK, same crap, having a freaking Palestinian party, whatever they were doing, right? Which these people don't even know. Um, I put a video out on LinkedIn. Watch what Palestine was doing September 11th. Go check oh, yeah. that one out, you dopes. Right? They're out there having a party in the streets, giving kids mm -hmm. the candy. Right? It And it just kills me because, yes, you've got the right. And that's the beauty with this country. However, you bunch of morons is all I got to say. It's like, don't know your cause. Um, if it were me and, and I was a college student, I might want to sit there and maybe get my, my peeps together and go, hey, why don't we talk about these uh, prices of what it takes to get a higher education? Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. All of us paid for them uh, via the Biden administration. Yeah. Um, it was funny. Jesse Waters had one on there. My man got some PhD in, like, music. Nothing, right? But basically accumulated a uh, quarter million dollar worth of student loans. We paid it off. We paid it off for him. You know, thanks there, Brandon. Appreciate it. Um, that's the part where I get frustrated as an American, right? Um, nobody rides for free. You got to mm -hmm. put something back to this country. I mean, JFK had some fantastic, powerful words. Not ask what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. And brother, we have... We have since drifted far away from that. Uh, we still do live in the greatest country in the world, without a doubt. The sacrifices that's been giving, uh, absolutely incredible. But man, our compass bearing is broke. Uh, <laughs> it's time to DX that thing. We got to get a fresh compass, man, because we got to get back on azimuth because we are not yeah. heading that way um, as the greatest country. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's so sick that in, in, in a good way that it's like just the sickest thing to be able to go down to your local sporting goods and buy everything you need to go shoot some clay pigeons. Mm -hmm. Pretty sick, right? Nowhere else, nowhere else can you do that. No, nowhere. No. I, I mean, know, and, here's... And, the, and besides this, you know, despite, you know, popular belief, People aren't just out there, you know, doing ill will with it. You know, there's a, t the number is astronomical and that's, we're talking about a little bit of a fraction of uh, the population that's doing some dumb things. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why we, we've been able to hang on as long as we have this uh, Republic and this democracy is because of that is that's the mm -hmm. sole reason. That's the only reason. Well, I, I think we're in uncharted waters too. We've never seen the country the way it is right now. Like we've never seen um, political opponents being oppressed by our very own 
DOJ, which, mm -hmm. you know, um, it, it's, it's mind boggling when you look at this administration, when you look at the cabinet and either how bought these people are or how ignorant these people are. And, you know, you look at Mayorkas, for example, dude, you can't tell me for a minute that dude thinks all these, and I've heard the numbers close to 30 million now. I don't, I don't even know if anyone really knows a true number. The millions of illegals that's crossed this country, cross illegally crossed the southern border, right? Who thinks that's a good idea? Right. Like, like it, 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 it blows my mind that he can even sit there and go, yep. And then you got Garland, who's an absolute moron, right? Won't answer oh, dude. A, a simple yes or no question, right? And to me, that dude's dirtier than dirty. But when all these cats, you know, when you got the DOJ going after Trump, for what? Because you're afraid of him? Because he's a political opponent? I mean, we yeah. look like a third world, you know, puppet republic, man. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely, yeah. it's absolutely ridiculous. So yeah. we need to get some, some direction back as Americans. Again, people need to read the constitution of the United States to really understand what's going on. Um, and we need to get that. I hate to say it, that September 12th patriotism back because we were all USA, all this other stuff. And man, where how have we gotten to where we're at today? You know, it's just it, it's mind boggling that we've almost lost a sense of our American identity. Um, what's it? What was the latest one I heard? Well, maybe it was to the Christians. I don't know. You got one of those radical, radical Christians or extreme Christians, or I know you got your MAGA what your ultra MAGA or whatever, like they're plugging all these different names, man, MAGA make America great again. And that's some crazy. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's bad. Really that's bad. It, well, I, I think this, this wild out of control, wildly out of control entitlement is, is a big part of it. For some reason, someone somewhere thinks that they are owed something, man, you aren't owed anything except for somebody to make sure that they're protecting the borders. That's, that's one yeah. the sovereignty of this nation mm -hmm. and to ensure that you are treated equally. Now that Life. doesn't mean it, it, if someone works harder than you and, and you don't like the way they look or what, what ethnicity they are mm -hmm. and they do better than you, then work harder, work harder. The, these folks, the, the get everybody gets a trophy crap is really starting to catch up. It's really starting mm -hmm. to catch up, and that's really what it boils down to. Well, I should be getting that too. Well, but you didn't do what was required to earn that. Yeah. That should be a hard no. Uh, well, and that's not where it, we're at it, right now. Yeah. And I want to circle back with one thing. So we are entitled to this life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. Yeah. Right. That's it. But getting back to your trophy deal, we're watching this trophy deal go so bad. You have dudes that can't perform now sitting there doing a little tucky tuck going, well, I'm a, I'm a chick, right? And I've got to say this. The Olympic Committee told old Will Thomas, pack his bags. He ain't participating as a chick. Said, hey, dude, take your dangler and beat it. You can't swim with yeah. the boys. Oh, that's right, because you, you stink. Um. And I'm gonna tell you this: those girls are gonna take yes. you. Pen, they're, they're gonna take you, Penn, to the. Uh, they're gonna take them and clean house with them. What they were exposed yes. to, old Will, in the same locker room, right? Yeah. He still has all his, all his plumbing attached out there, just swinging it in front of these girls' face. Um, that is not within the confines of life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, right? That's exploitation right there. And that's criminal. And you can sit there and take all your trophy winning garbage. And that's what you get is 
this day and age, dudes that can't compete going, oh, let me go beat up girls. Damn, dummy. You know? Yeah. Where do we go? Where do we go next? I I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But, you know, yeah. hats off to uh, hats off to a lot of the um, the student athletes at, at uh, Penn mm-hmm. and hats off to the women's swimming team who said, hey, look, if he's here, I ain't going to be here. And you're talking about legends in the sport who yeah. have been doing it for several Olympic cycles and good for them. I think that had a lot to do with it because what, they're like, no, I, I think I think the Olympics, I, I think the Olympic Committee did this right. Because if you sit there and let these dudes compete with chicks, you've just totally crushed. You don't have Olympics anymore, right? You might as well just no. take those five circles, zip them in half, chuck them in the water because your ship's done. You'll never be looked yeah. at as any type of legitimate sport. Um, yeah, well, the the, uh, the Olympic, the International Olympic Committee let that, uh, that dude from uh, New Zealand compete as a woman in the uh, clean and jerk or whatever the hell it was. And, um, I don't think he made it past the, the qualifying round or something. He didn't, but, but th- that's beside the point. Yeah. You know, it's somebody had the smarts or they were forced into it by the, the, uh, athletes. I don't care what the reason is. That's some weak ass BS. That's weak. They NCAA was the same way. They didn't want, they didn't want to kind of, you know, we'll just leave it up to individual school. What do you mean? What about the no. conferences? What about, what about the regionals and all this other stuff? I mean, nobody. And th- yeah. they were so terrified, Rick, and they were, they, they were afraid to lose their jobs. And look, I'm not going to say that they didn't make the the right decision that was best for their family. Cause look, most people aren't, you know, retired like us and we're, we're not, we're past that point. Mm-hmm. I get it, but nobody, nobody, that yeah. one uh, dad of one of those uh, Penn university students, he did a great job too. So yeah, man, you're right. It, it's terrible. And you would think that how hard is that decision? Dude, that is the easiest decision that I've ever heard of. You're a dude. Go beat it. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, sorry, Johnny. <laughs> hey, Will. Men's room's over there. Swimming. Hey, Will, you ain't swimming with the girls. Right. You know, how hard go is pack that? Up your plumbing and you can't hang with the boys. Yeah, dude, yeah. go find another sport or go sweep the floors or do something. Right. But go beat yeah. it. Um, it, Totally sidebar. 180 out on the yeah. whole part but it it boils down right not that i'm a uh i'm a fan of it but we do have some incredible freedoms in this country and i think mm-hmm. we going back to <clears throat> it can be dangerous because we got this whole entitlement and people crossing over like uh old will trying to swim with the girls but uh we need to get some things back in check because let's let's be an honest broker um Ladies weren't always looked at as full citizens in this country. You know, little over a hundred years, they've been able to vote. They, they couldn't vote from the get go. Right. So it's, why would you give all that up ladies? And you're the majority in this country. Well, you know, know, it's almost like, well, now women, someone or some group or does the society itself feels now that women are equal, right? So now they need someone who's even more marginalized air quotes to raise up and to help them be equal to dude that it's this is this isn't the hill. It's still a dude. This is not the hill to die on. And people are tired of it. Yeah. People are absolutely tired of it. it it's a simple chromosome thing, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's only two. There's only two to pick. Mm-hmm. That's it. I mean, sorry, you got no other choices. <laughs> You're either a dude or a chick right? There's yeah. no, you might be confused, right? You might need some mental health help. Um, Dude, you can live, you can do whatever you want, you can do whatever you want. That's the beauty of it. That this sure. is America. You can live as, as anybody or anything as you want. I don't care. Yep. Until but you start affecting others. Well, until you start affecting others yep. in the essence of, well, now you're going to sit there and go, well, you can't say that about them because that's mm. offensive. Well, says who? It, uh, yeah, this compelled whole, speech that's what that is compelled speech yeah it, this whole balancing act right so cool yeah. dude you want to wear a dress and if i want to laugh at you i can laugh at you right because dude you're a dude wearing a dress but hey you can do what you want i mean we're both entitled to yeah. our opinions on that aspect right you want to wear the dress i want to chuckle cool dude yeah 
but we've gotten we've gotten so away from it. We've gotten so far from what our rights are that oh, it can only be one sided, and you got people walking, literally like they're trying to tiptoe on eggshells about the words they say. Dude, I'm tired of hearing migrants. They're not migrants. They're illegal aliens, right? Or just call them illegals. Quit tap dancing around these, all these politically correct words. Call it for what it is. Because you just cheat yourself. You cheat either your viewers, listeners, whoever trying to get information from you. Um, and quit letting the machine tell you what to say. You know, the truth is the truth. The news is the news, right? It's it's pretty, it should be pretty black and white. Um, under that whole, again, going back to the first and freedom of speech. But man, we we want to give that thing up and dangerous road. Uh, yeah. Old Mr. Zuckerberg, I think he should be hung from the yard arm for his oppression of free speech. Um, you know, I give my hats off to Elon for trying to bring Twitter back, but haven't really seen that be all yeah. you know i, I think i think it. it's the, was probably one of the safer spaces as well as rumble but dude I, I, again I just, don't, I just don't get it i just don't do it man i i'm we we concentrate you know for the most part on the crew members the newsletter subscribers the listeners and viewers of this podcast which are mm -hmm. freaking awesome over yep. 500 episodes dude unbelievable and we wouldn't be able to do this because at some point it would start being um, diminishing return on how much it costs to run this production, even though it's small, you mm -hmm. know, it, we love all those men and women and, and those young people that are watching our stuff and, and letting us do this, man. Like I said, this is just, this country is freaking amazing, man. Just think about that. You made a good point. 75 years ago, most people probably didn't even have cold showers. I mean, if you think yeah. about it. Yeah. I mean, that that's how, and, and now dude, all these luxuries and all these things we have, and I think it's making a lot of people soft. Oh, dude, um, 100%. I mean, think, think yeah. about this, Mark, right? Think about this. It, you hit the nail on the head. Greatest country in the world, right? There, there's nothing mm -hmm. we can't do. You have the opportunity nope. to do whatever you want, right? Why wouldn't everybody want that? But then in turn, it's like, you don't want to put the effort forward. You know, we got this whole entitled and I'm a firm believer. I, I am. I will tell you this to the day I die. It's that stupid magic box putting propaganda right in people's heads um, that I think looking back in society, we're going to go. That was the downfall because ever since the intro of the old quote unquote smartphone, which has actually made you dumb phone, um, dude, young people spending five plus hours on social media. Oh my God, yeah, that's crazy. Could, could you imagine? Let, let's think about this. Could you imagine if I had added or you had added five hours, five hours a day? Man, if I had a 29 hour day, dude, crushing it. Or somehow oh, magically, somehow magically, I got three hours of sleep and those five jumped on and that was my eight hours of sleep. And I'm like, I'm ready to go. Dude, what I would do to have that yeah. time. I mean, it's yeah. just, I, I don't get it. How much more productive could you be? You know, yeah. how much, how much physically fitter could you be? How many more books could you have read? How many more rounds could you have shot? More dry fire practice in there, more whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But instead, they're letting their, their little bodies get all chubby and they're just sitting there and their brains going to mush. And I'm just like... God, dude, God, the dude. opportunity is such a great word to describe <laughs> what is possible here. And, you know, it, you can do what you can choose any field, any trade, anything you want. Pick something, become really good at it and go out there in the world and make a living. I mean, yeah. anybody can do that or start a business, find a problem that you can solve, solve it mm -hmm. with your product or with your service and go after it. Dude, I, I saw something that it was um it, it was kind of like a service that they had for pastures you're seeing mm -hmm. all these people that go out there and pick up pastures and clean them up so that they yeah. can swap them out they do that for yards for dogs and stuff now and it, this guy's killing it this guy is absolutely killing it 
dude, he, there's a problem out there. He solved it and he's capitalizing on it. That's what this country is about, man. Dude. And anybody that says, Oh, I wouldn't want to do that. Well, that's why he's going to make a gazillion dollars. Mm -hmm. That's why he's going to have 17 trucks or something like that. Now. Yeah. I was like, good for you, bud. Good for you. Unbelievable. America. That that's the part Mark, right? It's excuse me. People don't get, you have the opportunity. Mm-hmm. The opportunity, the, the key word being opportunity. You have the opportunity for whatever. The question, of the hour is, are you going to execute? I, I mean, let's rewind the tape, brother. Let, let's just do a quick, a quick recap. Who would have ever thought, right? So let's, let's go back uh, to the eighties. And if we were sitting there in one five Oh five PIR 82nd airborne division, Going, hey man, I'm gonna be a podcaster. Pfft, never thought it, right? I'm gonna be an author. Never thought it, right? I'm gonna be a business owner. Wasn't really crossing my mind back then, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, the opportunities do stuff for nonprofit. I mean, the the opportunities are absolutely incredible. Yeah. And here's the thing, my fellow Americans, you all, every single one of you, listening to our voices. You've got that opportunity. If you're sitting there going, man, I hate my job. I'm telling you this. My boss, that dude, biggest pain in my rear. <laughs> but boy, I love that guy. I love that guy like nobody's business, right? <laughs> um, dude, be your own boss. I will always advocate for small business. I will always advocate for people doing their own thing. And like you said, Mark. You got to grind. It's work. It's work. But you can crush it, man. You can crush it. And uh, I'll just say this. Don't put your eggs in the social basket because that thing will come crashing down because depending what uh, what you want to do, Zuck might sit there. Like Zuck's latest thing is he doesn't like my profile. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Profile wording or something. Goes against that. <laughs> What, because I said I got deactivated by IG? Okay, suck. Whatever, dude. I'm so over yeah. that. I'm so over that meta. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I don't know who said I can't remember, but it was something like, you know, most people do not achieve their goals or dreams mm-hmm. because it's wearing overhauls and it looks like work. And that's so true. Yeah. So true. Yeah, dude. And now you got, be- you got the opportunity to go out there and do whatever. I don't care if it's painting by numbers. Do Dude. it and be good at it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Great your, show though, man. Get your stuff out there, dude. Greatest yeah. country in the world. Greatest oh, country man. in the world. But again, man, close. It, it goes back to our fellow American patriots that shed their very blood. Yep. For us to have the freedoms that we have, our founding fathers that scribed an incredible document and this constitutional republic that we live in gives us these very rights to do such as we do. And trust me, if you have the title American, you have the most important gift in my opinion that anyone can bestow upon you. End of story. Mm. Hit the lottery. Hit the <laughs> lottery. Yes, sir. By being born here. You better yep. believe it, folks. Yep. Anyway, Great show, Rick. Crew members yeah, stand by over at the crew members page. The show continues for them. Always does. Yes, yes but, it uh, does. Fourth of July, man. I'm hoping I'm wrong about Joey Chestnut. I'm hoping I'm wrong. And tomorrow at one o'clock, I get to watch him <laughs> suck down at least, at least 70, 70 more hot dogs. But I'm pretty sure that uh, he might not be in it. Might, might not be in it. I think he's got more titles than anybody in any Dude, 13, I think. sports. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Well, crazy we shall see yeah plus he could throw those hands man he threw that protester right off the stage <laughs> never Dude, missed a beat didn't miss it uh-uh <laughs> hoss so bam hoss man yep. all right brother everybody be safe you want to go ahead and close it up rick you know it buddy so to all my feral americans happy fourth of july uh i'm gonna say this God bless these here United States of America. You guys train hard, stay safe, and we'll see you on the range. 
on the Range Podcast.